Hello, hello. Hi guys, this is Joyce and I am here because I recently got um, a new shipment from Coco Rosa Studio. You know, I showed some projects and videos from the last items that I got. And I didn't get much this time. And I'm looking at this one, but this one is one I am really excited about. It has an envelope and it came with flowers. So here it is. I can't wait. I think I want to use this on some three by three cards. And so I will be showing you what that looks like soon. And then there is this frame die that will be great on the front of a, let me see if I can find a card, uh, actually the perfect size to fit on an A2 card, so stay tuned because this is coming up soon. I'm going to get the projects done and I think I'm just, since I only got three items this time, I think I'm just going to show everything on one video. But I really like that, and I really liked that opening there. So, yeah, I am looking forward to it. So, anyway, that is going to be perfect on an A2 card. Yes, it is. So, guys, that is it. And this one, I'm just, I forgot what this one was. And it does not say on the cover but we are going to see. I'm going to go back and look at it. But this is that die. And honest, oh, I think this is a robot maybe. Anyway, I'm going to see because I think this may be not what I ordered. So, but I'm going to check it out and I will let you know and I will be back with my projects. And if you don't know, Coco Rosa, they reached out to me a few months ago. And then when I got sick, I just have not been doing a lot of crafting. And so these things came last week. And this is, I, I really feel like crafting now. So I am going to be doing that. But yeah, I really, you need to check out Coco Rosa, Coco Rosa Studios because they have some really really cute dies. When I placed this order, I had good intentions to order a few more things, but I was not feeling up to that. So I just got what I got. But I'm definitely going to go be going back over and getting a few more things because they do have some really cute cute items. They really do. And usually I'm going to put a link in the box below so that you can go by and check them out. But I will be back with my project, so stay tuned. Good morning, this is Joyce, and I am here with a collaboration. I'm not going to say DT project, but Coco Rosa Studios reached out to me several months ago, and I showcased some dies that I had gotten from them, and I'll put a link to those. Uh, so they reached back out to me and asked me if I would be willing to do it again. So I said yes, but I received all of my dyes and stuff during the time that I was sick and was unable to do this. So everything's back to normal and I have finally, finally finished my projects. So I am here to share that with you. Uh, in the first clip of this video, you would have seen the dies as they came out of the packaging. And there was one that I was like, oh, I couldn't remember what it was. Well, this is that die set, these pieces here. And what it ended up being is two suitcases or a suitcase and a briefcase. Wait until you see it. It turned out great. Uh, and just a recap, there was this envelope which I am in love with and it came with these flowers and leaves. I really like both of those sets. And then there was this background die that is so pretty. I love it. Uh, when you cut this piece out, you can place it back in on top of your card which you will see next. And 
guys, it, it I really love the look of it. So I used those. I added some flowers to one of my projects. And now let me show you what I made. Using that um, envelope and flowers die, this is the card. I made three of them because you know four and it's four by four but look at that and I kind of doubled up on the flowers inside it uh, and I am loving how these turned out I am not sure yet what I want the sentiment to be so I, ref I didn't put anything on it and that's just because sometimes you know I think I may give these to a friend like I said she's got plenty of room to write her message I have not added my stamp yet but that is that. So I did three of those. And as you can see, I kind of layered the flowers a little differently in each one. But those are the cards for that die set. I love that. I used some other things with it. But the focus of these are the Coca Rosa Studio dies. And I really love that envelope. And I've never made a card like this one before, but definitely will be using this one a lot just because this will make a great gift. You know, if I put maybe three more with it, somebody could say, mm, you know, thank you cards, whatever. So that is my first project. And my second project is using that background die. Well, guys, I used some brown cardstock behind it. How pretty did that turn out? I really love that. And I like it on that brown. It almost looks black, but it is chocolate brown. And then on the inside, I just, I'm going to take a piece of this. I didn't have an extra piece on my desk, but I am going to take an extra piece of this color and do just like a strip down there. But guys, didn't that, I mean, that is so cute once again no sentiment because I'm just not sure how I'm going to use them yet and you know I just hate to have cards and then I think oh I could use that one but it's got a different sentiment on it so I actually did two of those and I really like how well those flowers went with that so that is my second project um, so let's move that one out of the way now you know I was on vacation in July and I got pictures to do and so I made a uh, page for my traveler's notebook and I used that suit luggage die and that because this is more like a briefcase and I love how that turned out the papers are Gina K and um, Bea, Basil I think so that is my third project and like I said I'm definitely using this one in my traveler's notebook for my Savannah trip and it turned out great I'm really loving this and I can see that this luggage die I will probably get a lot of use out of that because you know I'm all about trying to go somewhere even if it's just a weekend to Georgia but that is my pride those are my projects for the Coco Rosa studio um, yeah so guys thank you so much for watching I will have a link there is a I think it's 20% I will check but I will put the link because I have a coupon code and I will put a link to that in the box along with a link to their channel and these specific products. Please go by and check them out because, guys, I'm, I am truly loving their dyes. I love the last ones that I got. And these are, even, I can see all of these being used regularly. regularly. <laughs> I can't speak this morning in my future projects so guys thank you so much for watching i really appreciate your support and don't forget go by and check out coco rosa studios because they do have some awesome looking dies and i will be back over there buying actually buying some because i have a few in my cart i think that i'm thinking i just need to add to my collection all right 
see you in the next video and if you like this video give it a thumbs up leave me a comment and share it with your friends and if you are not a subscriber please subscribe bye guys